Hello YouTube, welcome. I haven't uploaded a video in forever. There's a reason for that, because my life is boring. Not really, but I really haven't had anything interesting that any of you would care about, unless you care about trigonometry and pre-calculus tests, and me talking with my girlfriend 24-7. Just being honest. Well, I finally got something interesting. I am going to learn the basics of Italian. And I might not do half bad, because I have taken two and a half years in Spanish. Granted, that's with a high school teacher. I hate how they teach Spanish in schools. I won't go into it, but I hate it. Um, granted, that's with a Spanish teacher, a bunch of worksheets, and a textbook. I mean, really? Who learned a language out of a book? Just saying. But, nonetheless, that is why I'm not learning Italian in school. Actually, they don't offer it in my school. Whatever, I'm done. I'm using Duolingo. It's an online service. And I actually th went through the first two lessons already in Basics 1 because I thought I was recording the entire time and I wasn't. So, I know a tiny bit already. I already feel like a Mario. Anyway, let's begin the lesson 1. Select translation of the girl. Well, my best guess would be that wonderful, crispy outside, soft inside. Okay, that's weird. Uh, girl, girl, girl. Yeah, girl. La ragazza. 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 Ar, 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 la, la, la ragazza. Oh, yeah. The boy. Girl's la ragazza. Boy is il ragazzo. 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 There we go. Il ragazzo. Yeah. Un ragazzo. Oh god. Ragazzo. Un ragazzo. Okay, so my Spanish background, not my Spanish background, my past knowledge in Spanish helps me here a bit. Um, it looks like, as far as I can tell so far, la is the word the for feminine nouns. Il is the for masculine nouns. Un ragazzo. Being as ragazzo is boy, I guess it would be un is a boy. So, um, un is a for mask, a or an for masculine nouns. Un. And yes, it's is a. So this sentence is a boy. You are correct. Wait, what is this? Remember, you can always hover over where to see the translation. Okay. Select the woman. The girl, the woman. La donna. La donna. La donna. La, do la donna. La donna. Okay, I got it. Select the man. Oh, God, this is getting... Whoops. What the... It's getting difficult, guys. The man. Il wo Wait. Il, le, l'uomo, 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 l'uomo. My tongue can't do that. L'uomo, 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 l'uomo. Okay. I thought it was il, not l. <laughs> Whatever. L'uomo, l'uomo. I get it. Thank you. Una donna. Una donna. Donna is good or er, woman. I'm guessing it's feminine A or N. A woman. La donna. La donna the woman. Oh god. Translate the girl. Well, that's a girl, that's a girl, that's a girl. Done. Uh. La. Ragazza. Oops. La. 
I got so. type in Italian on an English keyboard. Gotta love it. Yeah. Sono una donna. Oh god, more. Sono una donna. Sono. Sono is I am. So this is where verb conjugations come in. It's also in Spanish and French. Because they're all Latin derivatives. Latin based derivative languages. Uh so the verb itself actually changes the ending based on you saying I am versus you are versus he, she, or it is versus we are versus they are, you know, that kind of thing. So, sono is I am a woman. Guys, there's something I need to tell you. I'm, I'm a woman. Duolingo said so. <laughs> so must be true. Yeah. Uh, if you if you really need to know that, <laughs> I did not just do that. I'm all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Move on. Here we go. I. A. I am a womo, that's what I just said. Um, so, io is essentially I. Io. Now, because sono is sono. conjugated to say I am, as in you are, he is, you know, they'll look different. So, you can tell it says I am. So, you really don't need the io, io. at the beginning. Um, that's just my knowledge from Spanish, knowing that. I'm assuming Italian's the same way. Uh, I think I saw a tip in Duolingo earlier when I did this lesson the first time. Uh, when I thought I was recording. So I am a man. That's better. Un ragazzo. Un ragazzo. Un, un, un ragazzo. Un ragazzo. Un ragazzo. It sounds like they're saying U ragazzo. Un ragazzo. Like you don't even hear the N. It sounds like Un ragazzo. It's Un ragazzo. Un ragazzo. Un ragazzo. Un ragazzo. I don't know if I said this right. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, baby. Un ragazzo. Can't hear that. Un ragazzo. Okay, fair enough. They say it's right. Una ragazza. Una ragazza. A woman. I mean, girl. I keep mixing up woman and girl. A girl. Mark all correct translations. I'm a boy. Sono un. That's a man, not a boy. Io sono un ragazzo. I am. A. Looks like zucchini. I don't know if it is, but it looks like zucchini. Io sono la ragazza. Ooh, I get to speak again. Sono. See, the thing about Spanish is I was taught, and it's how you do it culturally. You do not say the. Not article, but you don't say the subject. You don't say io sono la ragazza. Because you know it's I am because of the verb. Like, so, and they say these, I, mean, I don't, I'm not going to say the eel, because you're not supposed to, technically, at least, that's what I was, that's what I've heard from people. Sono la ragazza. And it's still close enough to count it as right, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> un uomo. Un uomo. Un uomo. Un uomo. Un uomo. A man. La... Oh god, I get to listen. It's la donna. 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 Yeah. Yes. I only getting three XP this time. Oh, because I already did this lesson once. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I thought I was recording. I recorded an entire video and got to the end and realized I forgot to hit record. Smart. Okay, so we're not too far into this. Let's do lesson two. Select an apple. Hey, girl. Yeah. Got an apple. Got a nice apple. That sounds very wrong. Let's click the apple. La, la mela. 
La mela. La mela. La mela. La mela. La mela. I said la mela. Tu sei un uomo. God. Okay. So here we go. Remember, io sono un uomo was I am a man. Tu is, I believe, yeah, it's the same as Spanish. You. Say. Say. Is R, but it's actually you are. See how it's written different than I am, you are? So, you don't need the tu. 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 Sorry, I'm saying it like Spanish. Tu. 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 You don't need the tu. Technically, you just say, say un uomo. Say. It'd be fine, but whatever. So, it's, you are a man. Lui è un ragazzo. Oh, God. Lui è un ragazzo. Lui. Lui is he. Oops. I'm zooming in Lui. too much. <laughs> he e. is. So see, he, she, or it is is also written different. Of course, with that, you do need to write Louis for he before it because you don't know if it's a he or a she or an it. E. So, Louis è un ragazzo. He is a boy. He's a boy, boy. Wait, I wonder if Duolingo will accept for it contractions. Louis è un ragazzo. He's a boy. That's what you know. What's this? He's a boy. Okay, yeah, so it accepts contractions in Una English. Mela. Oh god, what did it say? Una mela. 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 Lui mangia. Lui mangia. And what's mangia? I forgot. I forgot I did this lesson before, too. This was the last one I did before in the previous video, or attempted video. He... Manja. Eats. He, she, or eat. He, she, or it eats. Manja. He eats. Yeah. Lei manja. Lei manja. Lei is... Lei. She. Eats. It's like the missing one. Two... Say un uomo. This is he, she, or it is. This is I am. Or they are, actually, I think. This is you are. A. Man. Yeah. Lei è una donna. Lei è una donna. You. Lei. Yeah, sorry. She è is a woman. Donna. Yeah. Una mela. Una mela. An apple. Oh my god, I spelled it wrong. Couldn't type. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Really? Put one P? An apple. Tu sei l'uomo. Tu sei l'uomo. L'uomo. I think I figured out, because I thought in the last lesson, il was for masculine nouns for the word the. I think if, it starts with the, if the noun starts with a consonant, like ragazzo starts with an R, then it's il. If it starts with a vowel, like uomo with a U, then it's just the L with the apostrophe. So, tu sei l'uomo. Tu sei l'uomo. Tu sei l'uomo. Oh, yeah, I even said I, was, I wasn't going to say the two there, was I? I was going to say sei l'uomo, because you don't need the two. <sighs> she eats... Oh, God, I have to write in Italian this time. Uh, lei... <laughs> Man, 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 man. I forgot where over these does it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Never mind. Man, ja. You man, ja. I get it. We're almost done here, I think. Uh, like missing word. Lei è un ragazza. Una ragazza. There's that one. Tu sei un uomo. Tu sei un uomo. Tu sei un uomo. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple more. Can I'm going to translate the apple. La mela. La mela. <clears throat> Boom. Lui è un ragazzo. I can speak this last one. Lui è un ragazzo. Lui è un ragazzo. Lui è un ragazzo. Lui è un ragazzo. Bingo. All right. Lui oh. mangia. One more. What? Lui mangia. Lui mangia. 
he eats, I think. No, I eat, not you. No, he eats. Well, I finish. Heh <laughs> heh. Alright, guys. There's that. That's all I'm gonna do for this video. Sorry I accidentally redid those first two lessons. I thought I was recording the first time. Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If there's anything you'd like to say, post in the comments. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. See you in the next video, where we will be going over lesson three of basics one. Looks like we got some stuff. Then, depending on how long that takes, go on to whatever's next. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next video. Ciao.